Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to do linear regression inside of Google Sheets. Before we can do that, we need to have Google Sheets open, which you see right here, but we also need some data. So let me go ahead and pick some data out of our textbook. So this is out of section 1.3, and you'll see here we have some data for the weekly demand for milk and the corresponding average price per gallon. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a scatter plot of those and then add the best line onto that via linear regression. The same process could be used to do quadratic regression, exponential regression, or other polynomial regressions. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to put some labels at the very tops of my columns. So on the top of one, I'm going to put demand. Atop the other one, I'm going to put price per gallon. Now underneath demand, let me put in my numbers, 85, enter, 95, enter, 105, enter, 115, and 125. Over in the next column, I'll put my corresponding price per gallon, 3.89, enter, 2.78, enter, 3.01, enter, 3.23, enter and 1.69. So my next step is to go ahead and make the scatter plot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cell A1. I'm holding down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it to select everything in columns A and B that I want to graph. Now I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to select chart. So if I go up and grab the top of this, holding down my mouse button, I can move the chart over. And what you see here is a bar graph and the new chart editor inside of Google Sheets. This new chart editor makes it a lot easier to change things about your graph. For instance, one of the first things I want to change is Google thought that I was looking to put a column chart up here. So instead, I'm going to go up to my chart type and I'm going to scroll down until I can find scatter plot right there. Now that's more along the lines of what I wanted to see. I'd also like to see a little bit larger window here and to do that I need to customize this graph. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the customize tab and I'm going to go down to the horizontal axis and down here I see a minimum and a maximum so I'm going to go from a minimum of 0 over to 200. To change the vertical axis, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, select vertical, and here I want to go from like 0 up to 8. And so now I can see my data in a window that I feel is a little bit more appropriate for this. So the next part is I want to go ahead and add my line of best fit on here with linear regression, what is called in either Excel or in Google Sheets, it's called the trend line. So go up and select series. And under series, in addition to being able to change colors and things like that, you'll see an entry here for trend line. So I'm going to click on trend line. You can see it automatically selects a linear trend line, but of course there are other options here. There are exponential, polynomial, logarithmic, power series, but for this video we're doing linear. So in addition, I'd like to actually put the equation on here, and to do that I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to where it says label, and I'm going to tell it to use the equation as the label, and so there you can see the equation of the trend line. If I need to know the R squared value, I can click that on there also. So the equation of this line is negative 0.04x plus 7.068 and the r squared value is 0 0.605. So that allows me to do lots of different things on here and like I said if you need to do other kinds of reg regression simply change the type and choose it right here. 